Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US 30 there uh, drifting slightly lower, hitting potential support, a resistance already at 17.075. Quite a um, volatile session yesterday, briefly touching support at 69.69 uh, before rallying back up to finish don uh, finishing bang on the level there, only for it then to drift down a little bit lower. Most markets are selling off this morning. Germany 30 just ever slightly edging lower. UK 100 just suddenly dropping. Uh, we'll come back to that right now in fact. Moving on to UK 100, uh, we were looking very decent first thing this morning, but there's been a, a, a very short spat of selling in the last just five ten minutes, pushing it below potential support at 68.32. Um, next potential support at 67.74. Um, then having a look at Japan 225, um, it's been doing quite well because of uh, dollar yen. Um, pushing right back up through potential resistance at 15.828. Next potential resistance at 15.987. Um, that dollar yen move really helping Japan 225 move to the top side. Also, the uh, Bank of Japan might be doing more asset purchases, uh, more money policy updates. Um, obviously, things have been looking quite good in Japan for the last couple of last couple of uh, sessions. Uh, and uh, once we break through there, next potential resistance might be closer to 16,400, which would certainly be beneficial uh, for those with a bullish view on that index. So having a look at dollar yen, it's been going absolutely great guns. Uh, next potential resistance still at 110, spot 77, miles and miles away. Um, doji formation currently prevalent. We finished bang on the top end of the range yesterday. Um, things still looking quite bullish. The, the fundamentals by the US dollar are still Quite, uh, quite positive with an early rate hike possibly at the end of this year. We do have a Fed meeting, uh, I think it's 15th, 16th, 17th of September, um, which might give more clarity as to what the view of that is. Um, and obviously dollar yen has been going um, great on smashing through potential resistance 105 spot 44. Um, if there is any sell off, profit taking might result in quite a steep slide in the short term. So just be very careful. Um, dollar yen is always quite tough. If you're not currently trading it, it's hard to get into it at this level. But if you're still currently long, um, you know, trailing stop losses can be quite useful in this instance. So looking at crude oil West Texas, it's been feeling the pain. That stronger dollar really uh, dampening the spirits. Lower global demand as China slows down. Um, PPI data that came out yesterday meant that they might be looking at a little bit of uh, stimulus in that area. Uh, so China growth not as strong as they were hoping. Um, global demand uh, prospects trim slightly, uh, and that's impacting people's view on West Texas crude. I guess longer term, the potential support is at 89. In the shorter term, you are probably still looking around about 91 spot 13 as the next potential support. And you can see the pressure there is, uh, is still on on West Texas crude. Gold isn't that exciting right now. It's not feeling um, much support from that strong greenback. Uh, pushing it down below the potential support level of this uh, of this channel that I drawn on there, maybe the channel's broken now. Um, you're probably looking at closer to uh, 12.40 as a next potential support. Matter of fact, I need to add that onto my chart just now so we can get a bit of a flavour as to what's happening right now. And um, then looking at euro dollar, uh, it's broken through one spot 30. Next potential support one spot 27.46. Um, obviously, the fundamentals are stacked against the uh, the euro in this case. We have seen a lot of volatility, um, but there has been a little bit of short covering there as well. Not as bad as GBP USD, but it still gives you a bit of a flavour as to as to what's happening. Um, we are in the middle of two ranges right now, which makes it quite difficult, and we are getting a period of consolidation right here. Um, but um, it will be interesting to see how things go. You do have US jobless claims due today at one thirty, which might, might add more fuel to the fire. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And they've got retail sales on Friday, in fact. So there is still quite a, a number of fundamental factors that can impact these FX pairs. Lots of traders looking at GBP USD. Has it been overdone because of Scottish independence? Probably yes. Uh, still a lot of unanswered questions about what will be happening to the pounds uh, in Scotland. Will they use it? Will they not use it? Um, will independence be the worst thing that's ever happened to the to the union? Um, obviously, a lot of scaremongering going on out there just now as well. Um, I think most people still would quite like the, the union, union stay together rather than break up. But obviously, the 18th of September isn't that far away right now. As a matter of fact, we're pretty much looking like a week today. Um, potential resistance, one spot 62.65. Potential support remains at one spot 60.09. Um, and this 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 rally we had yesterday might have been in the back slightly of a bit of short covering after you know people booking some profits as we've had this big huge sell off broken trend line very prevalent just now. Um, 
but we'll have to wait and see. One spot 62, 65 could be a potential resistance level that may result in uh, a whole bunch of sellers coming back in. So just be aware of that level and we'll see how things um, go on. So jobless claims due today, 1.30. Make sure you've got your alarm set for that. That's UK time. And then fast forwarding on to Friday, there is like a University of Michigan consumer sentiment survey. I'm not really too bothered about that one, uh, but retail sales should be keenly watched by anybody trading FX as well. Uh, GBP, USD, dollar, yen, annual dollar, all fantastic FX pairs to be having a look at right now. You just got to choose which direction it's going to go. So if I finish up just by looking at client sentiment for a second, just to give you a bit of an idea as to the view of what CMC market clients are doing right now, Firmly short the US 30 and the UK 100. 64% long on the Germany 30, so people taking a bit more of a bullish view on there, but then it has been coming off quite a lot the last couple of days. Um, if you look at right. FX, you have 84% of our top clients are, are short Euro dollar, 66% are short GBP USD, so not so confident right there. Um, whereas Brent crude, you are looking at 60% long. So this gives you a bit of a flavor as to what other clients are doing. 96% of clients are long dollar yen, so. Um, hopefully they're making a whole bunch of cash in the back of that as well. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.